Hey, how y'all doing out there? This easy work box. I'm baby about to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Got to talk about Teofimo Lopez. You know, now that he's a superstar, you know, after being Vasil Lomachenko, you know, the Floyd Mayweather effect has came towards him as well. Now, I saw an article on boxing scene. Guess who they think that he should fight next? Mr. Manny Pacquiao. I said, boy, they finna start it. Next, they gonna want him to fight Keith Thurman or uh, Errol Spence Jr., somebody in welterweight. Now, we all know that this man is at 135. You know, he got belts and titles at 135. <laughs> Mr. T. Mr. T. Fimo Lopez does. Now, on boxing scene, I read in the article, you know, they talk Manny Pacquiao, this will be a fight. This will be a fight, you know, to take him to the top, the echelon of boxing, if he was to fight Manny Pacquiao. And I'm like, you know, right now, you know, he got to worry about if he going to move to 140. We don't even know if he going to move to 140. You know, we don't even know if he going to try to stay at 135, try to fight the Devin Haney's, you know, uh, tanks, you know, people of that nature in that era, in that division. So we don't really know what he's going to do. But to come out right now and literally just call him out saying that, oh, jump two divisions and go and fight Manny Pacquiao. You know, I just think they're rushing him a little bit too fast. You know, he just, you know, weighing the crown at 135. You know, give him time to breathe. You know, uh, you know, a couple of months, at least a year or something before you suggest that he fights Manny Pacquiao. But y'all know as usual, I go and do my research and I go and check out how fighters actually moved up from 135 and defeated welterweights and took their titles. <clears throat> After I researched, I looked. Adrian Broner, he did it. Adrian Broner, uh, if I ain't mistaken, didn't fight. Went straight to one from 135 to welterweight when he fought Paulie Matanagy at the WBO title he won. Uh, Broner did it. Manny Pacquiao actually did it. Manny Pacquiao didn't even go to 140. Manny Pacquiao went straight from 135 to uh, welterweight and won a title. Beat welterweights. Another fighter, Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley went from lightweight and went straight to welterweight and fought at welterweight and won titles. His first fight was Oscar De La Hoya. Now, I'm going to repeat what I said because, you know, people love trying to get on your channel and correct you. I said, I'm not saying fighters who moved up from 135 to 140 and then 147. I'm saying fighters that were at 135, skipped over 140, and went straight to welterweight. These are the only three fighters I have seen that done this. Adrian Broner, Manny Pacquiao, and Shane Mosley. Now, it's funny that two of these, well, one, I'm not going to go into that. I, you know, that's for the comment section if y'all want to know what I'm talking about when I say I ain't going to talk about that right now. But um, them the only three fires that did it. So, after sitting up and thinking about it, and, you know, you know, after I came out, I said, well, you know, if these fighters did it, you know, it's a possibility that Teofimo Lopez could do it. And um, I think it would be a smart move for him to go and fight. You know, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is only five, five, six and a seven, six, six and a, uh, six and six and seven and a half inch reach. Uh, sixty-seven inch reach. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at it wrong. I put a. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. He has uh, a sixty-seven inch reach. Five, five. Teofimo Lopez is five, eight, with a six to eight and a half. So there really ain't no advantages, you know, beyond weight. You know, weight won't really be an issue because Teofimo already said himself, I can't really stay at 135. So if he was to jump right now and jump up and beat Manny Pacquiao, he'll go on a list with these fighters, you know. But I just think right now, you know what I'm saying, let him get some time, you know. Uh, let him decide and see what he want to do. But actually, like they said, if he wanted to move up and be one of those echelon fighters, Floyd didn't even do this. Floyd went to 140. He didn't move up from 135 and go straight to welterweight. So, if he was to do this, hey, uh, Teofimo Lopez on, would be great. He'll be on his way to being having greatness, man. Not saying that nobody will ever beat him, but just move up from 135 and then move up to 147 and beat Manny Pacquiao. Even though Manny Pacquiao is going to be 42 years old, but at the same time, it's still Manny Pacquiao. And, you know, the Manny Pacquiao fans and people going to come on and say, hey, man, you know, uh, Man, Pacquiao, 42 years old. You didn't say that when he beat Keith Thurman. 
You, you want to complain and then when he beat Keith Thurman, you didn't say that when he beat Adrian Broner. So him and Teofimo Lopez was to have a great fight like that, a legacy fight like that. Don't use no excuse if Tio go out there and whoop him. Okay, don't don't say nothing about he old and oh it's time for him to retire because you weren't saying that after he beat one of my favorite fighters, Keith Thurman and um, Adrian Braun. So don't want to hear no excuses. But I think this will be a good fight. I think Teofimo he'll have the height advantage and the reach advantage by an inch or so. But um, I think Teofimo could have a good shot at beating Manny Pacquiao because, like I said, he already really. Be, be honest, he already really a 140 pound to fighting at 135. Now, if he just leave right now and just move up, he gonna be in the same list with Manny Pacquiao, the guy he trying that he would fight Shane Mosley and Adrian Broner. And once again, I have to explain this. I'm not saying fighters that went up from 135, 140 to 147. I'm talking about strictly fighters that went from 135 went to 147 and won titles. The only three that I found was Adrian Broner, Manny Pacquiao, and Shane Mosley. So y'all leave it in the comment section. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. You know, do y'all think that uh, this is a fight for the future, or do you think this is a fight for now? And also, please come in and tell me who do you think will win and why. I think y'all, this is easy work, boxing man. Y'all know they're trying to knock your boy off. You know, I'm going to keep pushing, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all also know I have... Uh, because one of my subscribers said I need to start telling y'all this too as well. Y'all know I usually tell you, but uh, PayPal and Cash App is connected to the channel. If you like to donate, nickel down, quarter penny, don't matter. I just appreciate your view and thank y'all for tuning in. It's Easy Work Boxing. I'm out.